Hey guys, Nick over here at Randy's. Today I'm going to be tearing down the new ZF 8-speed power line transmission for you. Getting this up on the bench, it appears this thing is heavy and weighs all over 400 pounds, just like the new 10-speeds do. Also, it seems to be we're not using any dipsticks, just like the ZFs and the 10-speeds are currently not using. Damn, what is it with these manufacturers and these new plastic pans? There must be something I don't know. All right, pan off on the ZF8 now. Looks like the filter's gonna be integral to the pan on these like they are on all ZF8 speeds. Might have to find something else to figure that out. Taking apart this valve body kind of makes me happy. I can see all the bolts appear to be the same length. That's not gonna be a problem. All right, now it appears with the valve body out, we're running a mechatronic system in these, just kind of like the Tecums and 8Ls and 6L90s. Computers, solenoids, all integrated into one assembly on this valve body. Digging into this pump cover, it appears we're actually gonna be able to remove this thing a lot easier than prying and pulling like a 68 cover. She pops right out. All right, looks like on the pump cover on the ZF8, they actually had to integrate a big bearing inside here to help hold that big converter they installed into this beast. And just a little bit something different we're not used to here at Randy's, a remote chain driven pump. They probably make a tool for this, but it appears a good old 6L smack the stator trick gets this out real easy. Now digging into the meat and potatoes on this transmission, we're looking at the B clutches here. They seem to be pretty beefy, like we're not going to have any issues with these failing in the future. But it also seems like we have these anti-drag wave rings in here to actually keep the clutches from dragging after they release. Getting even further into this to our P1 Planetary, it looks like it resembles all the other ZF8 speeds we've seen before. We're going to keep digging into this and see what else it looks like. The input shaft looks identical. We got a reluctor wheel in there. She looks identical. Even our P2 planetaries look just the same. So far, everything resembles a normal ZF8 speed. Next, we're gonna be pulling out this heavy C and D clutch drum. Now that we're gonna start to disassemble this drum, we're gonna get to the E clutch drum and where we're gonna start to notice some differences in how they do the eight speeds. All right, seems like for you guys, this is gonna be a good thing on your trucks. Unlike the eight HP 90 and 95 and the Hellcats that took about a thousand horsepower stock before you started tearing up this E-clutch drum, they decided to upgrade it and make it still in this setup. But what we're gonna be starting to work on or in the process of working on right now is a new setup of frictions and steels so we can actually start adding some more holding capacity to both of these drums. Now we're gonna start digging into both the C and E clutch drums and looking at the frictions and steels. Frictions look like they're gonna hold quite a bit. Same with the steels but we know how you guys like more, so we're gonna find a way to add more. As we start to get into the tail housing, we're gonna notice that it's a lot different than any of the other ZF8 speeds we've seen where they integrate the tail housing and the main case all into one. So it takes a little bit of different work to get this apart, but we got it. As we were disassembling this main drum, we did notice that it is a lot thicker than all the other ZF8 speeds out there on the road that are prone to braking on disassembly. So they're trying to make everything hold a lot more torque in these trucks. Opening up our output carrier, we're gonna get into our D clutches here and I'm gonna be quite honest, I, I am fully surprised on how well they built these units. With the ZFA speed all torn down, I have to tell you, I am very impressed Cummins decided to throw a transmission behind their power plant to actually hold up, but we're gonna make some things better for you guys. Stay tuned for what we have coming down the pipe.